team, welcome back to my channel. All right, so let's talk Let's talk a little bit about Honor Active. I'm here to tell you whether it is worth the hype and whether it is worth paying all of the extra fees and duties that it takes to get it shipped here to Canada. I'll take all the guesswork out for you. You don't have to hem and haw on whether or not you want to make a purchase. I've purchased from the company many times over the last few years and I'm here to share all my feedback with you. This is a completely unsponsored post. Everything that I've purchased is with my own money. So Honor Active was founded in 2020. So it's a fairly new company. And I do think that it took off a little bit faster than they expected. Now I've got to hand it to Honor Active. Their marketing team is putting in the work. They tend to have a lot of launches, which I guess is pretty common for a newer company. They have a lot of marketing leading up to these launches. If you've been following Honor Active for a while or you've been reading any feedback online, you probably know that on launch day, if you're not there at your computer, the minute that the site goes live, you will most likely not be able to get your size, get your color that you want. Everything sells out immediately. I don't know if it's just because they don't make enough or they weren't expecting the demand to be so high, but I definitely have heard lots of issues with women logging on right at the time of launch, adding things to cart, and by the time they go to checkout, things have actually disappeared from their cart. Now, I'm super happy that they do ship to Canada. You do have to spend about $220 Canadian on the website to get free shipping to Canada. Otherwise, I believe it's about $10 shipping, which is not so bad. Now, something to keep in mind is that the prices on the website do seem quite attractive because they are in Canadian dollars versus other websites where it's listed maybe in USD. And the shipping itself is not that expensive. However, you have to keep in mind that you will pay duties when the item is getting delivered. I think prior to this year when I was getting deliveries from Honor in Calgary, it was DHL that would come to the door and they request payment before they release the package to you. With the last few times that I've ordered within the year, it's actually been FedEx, so same thing. They actually email you or call you and say, hey, you know, you owe this much money. Now the challenging part about this is that you never know how much duty they're actually going to charge. It fluctuates a lot based on what you've ordered, so it's really hard to get a sense of how much you're actually paying for a sports bra or a legging. I'm gonna go through and let you know exactly you know, what kinds of orders I've placed and how much the duty has cost me when it's being shipped to Calgary. So hopefully if you are within Canada, you may, might get a sense of how much you might have to pay. Here's the thing about buying something from Honor Active. Once you've determined that the cost of shipping and the duties is still worth it, the issue is whether or not you wanna spend the money to return it if the item isn't exactly what you want. If you're going to return something to Honor Active, you're gonna actually forfeit the cost of the duties, but you also have to pay, I believe it's $19.99, and that is actually deducted from your total of the return. You're actually out a fair bit of money if you want to make the decision to return it. So the great news is within Canada, you know, people have established that they don't want to return things back to Honor Active. I personally think it would be bananas to forfeit the cost that you pay for duties and also have to pay $20 to return something. So that's why there is some online Facebook groups within Canada for Honor Active for people that have purchased items that maybe didn't fit them or wasn't the color that they expected and they can actually sell them within Canada or if it's someone within your city they often off, uh, offer a local pickup as well so that is an option. So if you're willing to try something or you want to try something for the first time you're not sure if it is going to fit I definitely recommend being a part of these Facebook groups. A, you can maybe find something within your city that's brand new that someone's trying to sell or if you buy something, you can always try to sell it in this Facebook group. So that is an option for you. Now, I've read many reviews online um, with people having lots of issues with customer service, not receiving their order for several months and then reaching out and not hearing back. I've actually, I've placed five or six orders within the last few years and I've never had an issue. In fact, I'd say I've received my package within maybe five business days, which is pretty freaking good considering it's traveling across the ocean. Keep in mind that I'm pretty prompt in paying the duties. So I think if you were just prompt in, in paying the duties when they request it, then they can actually withhold the package from you. But as soon as they request it, I'm paying and you know, within a day or two, it's showing up at my door. Okay, so you're probably wondering, Angeline, why do you pay extra shipping? Why do you pay duties when there's so many companies that offer free shipping within Canada, free returns? 
and are readily available. You must be thinking it's the quality of the pieces or that the pieces are so different that you can't purchase them elsewhere. So I'm gonna go through some of my top pieces and some hits and misses for me from Honor Act. All the reasons why. The reason is this legging right here. This is the effortless legging and you've probably heard all about it and if you're watching this video, it's probably one of the main reasons you're watching this video. This is my favorite legging that I've ever owned and I haven't found anything comparable yet that I like as much as this legging. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the effortless legging. There is a scrunch bum on this legging, but it's not in your face scrunch, but it's also not hidden, so it is there. It's a really nice glute separation, and I don't have huge glutes, you know, getting there, but I don't have huge glutes for my frame, so I still find that they look great on someone like me that has a smaller frame, someone that has really nice round glutes, obviously they look amazing. And then you can look online at some of the photos that they have um, on some of the models, and they'll tell you exactly what size they are wearing. Well, these ones that I wear, I wear a size extra small and I'll leave my measurements below in case we have similar measurements and you're curious. Now something great about Honor that I, very few companies do is that they do have multiple lengths. They have a short or a long and I have chosen the long here for the right fig. So I'm about 5'8 and I have longer legs and it's really nice to have a longer length in the legging. Now it's a super soft, lightweight fabric, super, super stretchy, um, buttery soft, and it honestly feels like a second skin. So I do have other leggings like this. I'd say, I do like my Alpha Elite Amplify as well. I'd say they do have a similar fit, but these are definitely much more softer. I'd say when I get come home from the gym, you know, if my kids have woken up, I'm pretty comfortable to stay in these leggings for a period of time, you know, while I get my kids ready for the day before I shower. Other times when I come home from the gym, you know, in the Amplify leggings or maybe a thicker, more compressive legging, I definitely feel like I need to get out of them pretty quickly. They have a really nice raised contour to really accentuate the glutes, which I love. A really nice compressive waistband. I don't experience any beeping at all when I'm squatting. You know, I've worn, worn these a few times now and I haven't noticed them stretching out at all. Something else I love about these is the logo is not really in your face, so there's no logo at the front or the back. So again, if it was Gymshark, there'd be a logo right in the front here. If it was Alpha Elite, there'd be the Alpha Elite logo in the back. So no big logo in your face. Where you'll see it is right at the bottom of the leg. There's a tiny knit logo right here. I really love that. I mean, it is high contrast since it is white, but again, I love that it's not really in your face. It is a quick drying legging. I do sweat a lot. I don't see sweat through these. It is a thinner legging, so you most likely will see a little bit of cellulite, or if you do sweat excessively, you will see that before um, the fabric wicks it away. Now, the question that you're all waiting for, is this thin material squat proof? So you've seen lots of reviews online, I'm sure, about women saying that these leggings are not squat proof. Now, just like any other legging, it depends on which color you choose. Now, if you're gonna wear a darker color, then it'll generally be pretty squat proof. The lighter colors will not be. Now, there, there's no promise online saying that it is squat proof, in fact, on the effortless page it says due to the knitted structure of this fabric these leggings are not a hundred percent squat proof we recommend wearing a skin tone colored thong underneath so i'll do a couple squat tests so you can see like i mentioned this is the color ripe fig i'm obsessed with it it does have a light nice marl in it which it's actually really beautiful but yes you will see quite a few reviews online saying that they are sheer or not squat proof and Again, they're not promising that it is gonna be squat proof. I think it's different if the website said this is 100% squat proof legging, but they're not making that claim. I think you just have to be aware of which color you're purchasing. Be mindful that you're wearing a nude colored thong underneath. As I mentioned, this is an extra small. So again, some reviews you may read online is that the sizing is extremely inconsistent. I think when they were complaining to Honor Active about the inconsistency of the sizing, they did say that due to the different types of dyes across collections and products, please allow for slight variations in the softness, in the dryness, and the color. So this does have impact the sizing as well. People were saying that some of the colors are not as stretchy, not as soft as other colors. 
So that's where it can be a little inconsistent. Now, you know, again, I don't think this is specific to Honor Active, Gymshark, Alpha Elite. There will be inconsistencies in sizing and length and how compressive they are based on which color you get. So again, when I get another color of the effortless leggings, I can expect them to be exactly like this is where I really have to be careful because again, I'm taking a gamble, choosing a color, hoping that it's similar to these leggings that I love that are my favorite leggings. But if I don't love them, then I really can't return them. My option is to sell them within Canada to someone else. So I'm not losing a lot of money. Now, I also have purchased the effortless cycling shorts and these are in the spicy red and oh my goodness I do love these so much now the big thing I will say about these is that they're a larger size they're small I don't notice a difference but I will say that I feel if I'm not wearing a thick seamless underwear in this then the you will definitely get a camel toe or a CT as I like to call it so I don't know if it's just because there's extra fabric that gathers there but um, comfort wise it's the exact same as the effortless I do love these not as squat proof because it is a lighter color yes just the the CT is gonna be an issue so making sure that we're wearing seamless underwear and I will do a squat test for this cycling shorts as well I do prefer the cycling length of short basically in every company versus a regular short because I hate the riding up when I'm doing any type of cardio I hate that I always have to be pulling it down I do work out in these quite a bit I mean there is a little bit I'm pulling it down not because it's riding up up, but because I am nervous about the CT if I did purchase another pair of shorts I would stick to the extra small which is what I got in the ripe fig leggings however I don't think it's gonna make that much a difference the reason that I got different sizes here is again because of the stock so if you go online and take a peek the stock is very very limited and then when they do have a restock again it sells out like that so, all right the Sun is moving on me very quickly here in Calgary in the sky got a little winter so I know you were all here to probably hear about my opinion on the effortless legging but I need to tell you about my other favorite legging that I have from Honor Active and it is the classic seamless 2.0 legging so I have these in two colors and it's actually the first legging that I ever purchased from Honor Active it is the evergreen really beautiful forest green color now, I remember when I first took this out of the package, I was very shocked at how thick this legging is. So it's definitely a winter legging. It's perfect for here in Calgary. I'm definitely only wearing this on weight days. You will not find me wearing this on a cardio day. We can talk a little bit about this one. You know, we have the high waist, uh, seamless contour panels, ribbed waistband, and then they kind of have this like fake back seam here. I guess that's to accentuate the glutes without having an actual elastic there. I will say that there's not a lot of material in the back here and the extra small for me, so I will have a little bit of a unibutt. This is 100% squat proof. No matter what color you get, this is the thickest legging. It'll be 100% squat proof. So I loved the green so much. I've worn it so much and I did get the long length in this one. Really, really nice. Now the difference here you can see is that they do have the logo printed in the front as well as on the leg. I don't know why they need it twice. It is a white logo, so high contrast. So I do like that the effortless, like I said, doesn't have the logo in the front. And this year I also purchased it in classic black. I really like a thick black legging, especially, you know, when it's the time of the month, just feel really comfortable wearing a really nice thick black legging to the gym. It's exactly the same. You know, I didn't find that one was more compressive than the other, but again, you know, similar colors, darker color, they, I'd expect them to fit pretty, pretty similarly. I've had bad luck with the sports bras I purchased. So if you're part of the itty bitty committee, like I am, it's really challenging to find good sports bras. This is one of the first bras I purchased and it is an extra small one. I found it's just too small. It's digging into me. I'll still wear it on a high cardio day just with a shirt over top. So I still get a lot of use out of it, but I was very scared to purchase more sports bras until now. Now I do have a package I just received. Let's open it up and take a peek. Okay, so I got the Timeless Strappy in the color Sand. Now, I would never normally buy this color with my skin tone, but I was so influenced online. Just took out of the package and immediately, again, it looks really small. I don't know why I got an extra small again. I feel like I should have gotten a small. I was really intrigued by this one because I really like the Minimal Bra from Gymshark, but there's no padding in that one. And again, being part of the itty bitty committee, it's just 
it's not cute. It did not look cute. I I had to return it. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one a go. I'm in love. It's such a nice bra. It is so comfortable. I don't feel like it's digging like the other bra is. There are adjustable straps, which I appreciate so much. And I'll show you what the back looks like, but wow. The removable padding, which I love, doesn't make me look completely flat, even though I am. And I'm just really, really like this bra. Okay, so a little bit about this bra, plunge neck, but again, I don't feel like I'm exposing too much because again, I don't have too much. If you look online at the pictures, the girls that have a little bit larger breasts than me, I shouldn't say a little bit, a lot larger breasts than I do. It also doesn't look like they are falling out or anything like that, but it does say it is low impact. So for me, it can be considered low, medium, or high because I'm not going anywhere in this. But I guess, yeah, if you're larger breast, then it's probably just a low impact. It is adjustable, which I love. And the my most favorite thing about it is that the removable bra pads are actually colored to match the bra. Online it says removable matching colored padded cups. So I don't know if that means based on whatever color you get, the pads match that, but what I appreciate is that having dark skin, whenever I've bought a light colored bra, they always have light colored pads in them. So then you can see it, like that doesn't work for me because I'm dark skinned, I need to have dark colored pads. And I just really appreciate that the pads are colored to the bra. So, oh my gosh, such, such a good feature. It's super soft, it doesn't feel like it's digging, very, very stretchy. I'm just really excited about this bra. All right, another one I purchased is the Everyday Bra in the color Amethyst. So every ever since they've dropped this Amethyst color, I've really wanted to give it a go. I'm going to put it on for you and uh, let's take a peek and see if how this extra small is doing. I swear the sun is coming for me. All right, this one is so good. It is the color Amethyst. Oh, also my birthstone. Super, super fun. Again, doesn't feel like it's too compressive doesn't have the deep plunge like the Timeless, so it is a little bit more moderate coverage. If that's what you like. I do love this because I feel really supported. They do say it's a medium coverage. It's a little bit snug and extra small, but I don't know that I would size up because I'd be worried that this underband would be a little bit too large. It is adjustable in the back. And online it does say that it's for everyday wear, but I don't know that I would wear this every day, probably because A, it makes me look flat. You know, I feel like over time, it might start pinching a little bit in the shoulders. Right now, it just feels really, really comfortable, really buttery soft fabric. Yeah, really, really loving this fit. Really nice round neckline, really flattering, I think, on anybody. Now, I can confirm that, again, online, it says that the removable bra pads match the bra, and I just checked, and these bra pads are purple. So I think that's fantastic. I think, um, you know, the only issue would be is if I ordered white, the white bra pads would be in there, and then you'd see the two circles. So I'd have to switch those out for black, or do what I do sometimes and actually just wear nipple covers so you can't see my nipples in the gym. So yeah, uh, really, really liking this bra. Now you're probably wondering if I'm gonna continue ordering from Honor Active, and the answer is yes. I, although there has been some items that I'm not a huge fan of, I think that if there's one or two pieces that you really like, then it's worth taking the risk and purchasing it again in a different color. Obviously understanding that the feel and the compression might be a little bit different based on the color that I get. I generally don't wear very, very light colors anyways to the gym. Purchasing something from a new collection, that's probably where I draw the line. I don't love the idea of taking a chance and purchasing something new online, because again, paying shipping, paying duty, and then having to pay to return it, it's just not worth the cost for me. But what am I gonna purchase in the future? Definitely gonna go for more effortless leggings. You know when you do your laundry and all your leggings are there and you get the choice of which legging you wanna wear and you always reach for that same one. For me, it's that effortless legging. So definitely wanna purchase another one um, of those. And I'm really, really loving this timeline strappy bralette. I would stick true to size on this one. Again, I got an extra small. Um, I'd be worried that because the lower band is not adjustable, I actually pulled it over my head, that it would definitely ride up when my arms come up. So I wanna stick to the extra small on that one. Again, I have itty bitty, so I think it's perfect. And yeah, definitely want to purchase another color in this. Those are probably the two things that I would purchase. I mean, I do love the everyday bra, but 
It's nothing special and you know, I've seen it before. They do also have lots of great loungewear and you can't really go wrong with loungewear. Their loungewear is a very thick, really nice material. Whether it's too, you order a size too big, too small, you generally can make loungewear work. These are just the classic shorts in Midnight. Thought they, they would be great for summertime and these are in a size small, so generally bigger than I wear, but I mean, they're lounge shorts, so I kind of like them oversized. I also got a pump cover, so just a nice oversized tee. Again, this kind of stuff, you know, you can't really go wrong. If it's too big, it's too small. It's still gonna work for you. It's really just the leggings and the sports bras that you need to be careful about. Another reason I like ordering from Honor Active is because I find that right now it's the only brand that's really inclusive. So while some other companies, I don't wanna name names, um, you know, their bras get smaller and smaller and smaller and their shorts get shorter and shorter and shorter, they don't uh, realize that some women don't want to expose themselves that much when they go to the gym. I love the inclusivity that Honor Active has and they for sure have a lot of items that are full coverage if that's what you're looking for. Again, something else, I already mentioned, uh, just love that I can get the longer length. So again, I'll put my measurements so that you can take a peek, but I am um, about five, seven and a half to five, eight. So the longer length just really looks great on me. Um, otherwise it just kind of always looks like I'm wearing flood pants. Now, I haven't tried the timeless leggings. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos with mixed reviews. So I'm a little bit too nervous to spend the money on it, especially since I don't know how it's gonna fit, whether I need to size up. And the reason I'm saying that I wouldn't order another classic 2.0 is, well, I have two pairs already, but also, you know, I wouldn't say it's a special legging like the Effortless. Again, I said the Effortless doesn't have anything that's really comparable on the market, but for the classic legging, I'd say that, you know, Gymshark does have quite a few really thick, compressive leggings like this. So I often reach for my, uh, my camo. I just think that they are similar. The price point is just very, very, different and Gymshark is much cheaper. They have free returns, free shipping. I probably won't buy another classic 2.0 seamless, but since I can get a, a very similar legging at, uh, at Gymshark. So I did say I was going to let you know about the cost of the duties that I paid for each of my orders, just so you can get a sense of what you might have to pay moving forward if you are going to place an order. So I'm just pulling up my account here. The last order that I made, I purchased this sports bra, the timeless sports bra, the uh, lounge shorts as well as the pump cover. And it cost 120 Canadian and I did have to pay $40 in duty. So it was way more than I expected it to be for the amount of stuff that I got. But again, I'm really liking the bras. So I'm gonna say it was worth it for me, especially because, you know, um, if I'm thinking about a Lululemon bra, it's around 40 or $50. So if I could get four things for about $160, I'd say, I'd say it's pretty comparable. In my previous order was two leggings, black seamless and my ripe fig effortless. Again, it cost $120 total for both leggings, Canadian, and I paid $35 in duty. So again, it was a little bit more than I expected, but for two pairs of leggings, the total cost ended up being about $150. So if we're talking about $75 per legging, I'd say it's worth it, especially for those of us that buy Lululemon leggings, um, their regular price leggings are actually $98. So, so I will say that I usually wait until they're having a sale before I make a purchase because the effortless leggings are $80 Canadian regular. And then if you're paying for shipping and duty on top of that, it'll end up being about $100. So again, the Lululemon leggings uh, aligns are $98. I think the Wonder Unders are also $98. So it can be pretty comparable. However, I ended up purchasing these for $64 on sale. So then um, I think, like I said, it was $75 total for, for these leggings, which I think was, was well worth it. So if you follow Honor Active on Instagram, you've probably seen that they're starting to do a lot more business in the US. So I really hope that they do open a distribution center in the United States, which would mean that we wouldn't have to pay any duties here in Canada anymore. So that's where I would think that it would be a lot easier to make a purchase and a return. So fingers crossed for us Canadians. Well, that's it for me. So let me know below if you've tried any of these pieces, if Effortless is your go-to legging like it is for me. And also let me know if you want me to do any comparisons with 
Alpha Lee, Gymshark, or Lululemon as well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.